Boston is one of those cities you just can't help but love. It's beautiful, full of history, and has an amazing selection of foods from all over, and of course, a great craft beer scene. So when I found myself there recently on a day layover, I had to check out some of the sites and explore a neighborhood I previously didn't know much about. Now, being a history nerd, I always love taking a look at the older elements of where I visit, and Boston, of course, has plenty to offer. But since I had so little time in the city, I just decided to take a quick little walking tour to see a few places, beginning with the Old South Meeting House, starting point for the Boston Tea Party, and of course, modern day museum, and a great first stop on our walk. Moving on from there, we just head down Washington Street to the Old State House, which was once the seat of the colonial government, later becoming the state capital, and now a great museum if you decide to stop in. But this is walking tour, so we're just going to continue down and head to Congress Street for just a moment till we come across Faneuil Hall. This is more than just a historic great hall, it's also a marketplace, and is quite possibly my favorite thing in the city. Now it is super touristy and gets very crowded very quickly, but if you visit around opening, it's a great place to get some delicious food, as you have loads of options from around the world to choose from, and if you get bored of the food in the central Quincy market, it's flanked on either side by loads of different stores for you to do some shopping in. Once you're done with the shopping, you'll want to continue on just across North Street and dive into our next stop, the Hay Market. This open-air green market is a pretty fun place to come to, and if you're in need of some fruits or vegetables, this is the place to be. All throughout the place, you'll see locals, restaurateurs, and tourists alike all trying to find a good deal on some great produce. Though if delicious fruit isn't your thing, you just need to head around the corner to Marshall Street to find yourself surrounded by old brick buildings, a cobble street, and some historic pubs. My personal favorite in here being the Green Dragon Tavern, a great little Irish pub offering a nice atmosphere and more importantly, some pretty tasty craft beers from around the area, which in my mind is the perfect end to our little historic walking tour. But we do have more to see. So next, we're going to head to the neighborhood of Fort Point. This former industrial district has seen an interesting transformation in recent years, starting as an artist hideaway and now becoming the trendy spot for nightlife, restaurants, and more. It's a pretty fun area of town. So let's start our time here with a bite to eat after all that walking. And a great place to do so right on the waterfront is the Barking Crab. This restaurant is frequented by both tourists and locals, so it does get crowded, but it's well worth it for some good New England crab, clams, or lobster, and of course, some local beers. But if you're looking for less seafood and more beer, then Hopster's Brewing Company might be for you, and thankfully it's close by on Sleeper Street. This brew pub has its own selection of good food, but also offers an amazing array of house-brewed beers, and if you live in the area, you can take advantage of their service to make your own beer in small batch brew tanks, which is pretty awesome. Whichever way you go for food, it's certainly worth taking the time to enjoy the waterfront here afterwards. The Harbor Walk offers some great views of the city, and if you're here with kids, it also has the Boston Children's Museum for them to enjoy with plenty of hands-on educational exhibits. And if it is education you're looking for, this certainly isn't the only museum around. 
Just down Congress Street is another interesting stop, the Boston Fire Museum. Housed in an old firehouse, this small little museum shows off the firefighting history of the area and has a really cool collection of vintage fire trucks and equipment. It's well worth a visit, even if you're a bit pressed for time, as it really doesn't take long to make it through. And with that, the day should be coming to a close. Before leaving, though, you'll want to head just a bit more down the road for one final stop, Trillium Brewing Company. Now, their main brewery is in Canton, but this location serves as a shop to sell their beer to the local community. It's just a great stop to grab an amazing local beer before heading back to your hotel. Now this was just a layover for me, so sadly we weren't able to see near as much as we would have liked considering just how much Boston has to offer. But if you have the luxury of more time, I'd really suggest exploring this neighborhood more. Indeed, I'd say to explore more of all of Boston. It's a beautiful city with so many great areas, a ton of history, and so much to do. So get out there and explore, my friends. And if you have enjoyed this video today, please like and subscribe, and I do hope to see you all on our next adventure.